Defending the airspace, a complex and demanding task. Modern ground-based air defense systems have to be able to deter traditional targets. On top of that, they should also have CRAM capabilities to address asymmetric aerial attacks. Yet a new worrying threat has evolved recently. Low, slow, and small so-called LSS targets, such as remotely controlled multi-copters, model airplanes, etc. Most air defense systems have gaps in their defending capabilities against RAM and LSS targets. To successfully close this gap, Rheinmetall Defense leads the way with its directed energy weapons. High energy lasers. Your first mission? Provide 24-7 air defense of a forward operating base. The situation constant threat of surprise mortar or rocket attacks by insurgents in the region. Your means, an Erlikon Skyshield Moto C-RAM Camp Protection System with added laser effectors. With very few alterations, Rheinmetall Defense can convert its fielded C-RAM revolver guns into laser effectors that seamlessly integrate into the existing camp protection system. These new laser effectors are highly effective versus RAM and LSS targets and are very economical in terms of logistic costs. Attack. Insurgents have launched mortars against your camp. The Sky Shield sensor units detect the targets, track and assess them, guide the laser effectors to the most threatening one. The laser beams of several high energy lasers are superimposed onto the target heating it up to a point where it detonates mid-air. Rheinmetall demonstrated the CRAM capability of its laser system in front of an international audience during two live firing events in October 2013. A pressurized mortar launcher was used to fire 82 millimeter steel spheres filled with explosives. Our lasers destroyed nine out of 10 RAM targets mid-air at a distance of roughly 1,100 meters. Mission accomplished. Your second mission. Secure the lower airspace during an international sports event. The situation. Possible terror attacks with the objective to create mass panic inside the sport arena. Your means, a surveillance and fire control radar system connected to a number of high energy laser effectors and conventional revolver guns. All systems are hidden or obscured from view. Our high energy laser effectors are both inconspicuous as well as dead accurate and can be deployed discreetly. Attack. A remote controlled multicopter approaches the arena. Deployable even in dense urban settings, modern LSS aerial vehicles are extremely maneuverable and use GPS to follow pre-programmed waypoint patterns. They can be obtained cheaply 
also by misguided groups or individuals and are capable of transporting payloads exceeding two kilograms. In our case, an explosive charge has been attached to the multicopter with the intention to detonate it in the stadium and cause mass panic. The radar surveillance system detects the unmanned aerial vehicle and tracks it. Rheinmetall's high-energy laser effectors are ready. As a first measure of de-escalation, the laser effectors dazzle the onboard camera of the multicopter. If this doesn't stop the attackers, the unmanned aerial vehicle will have to be destroyed immediately. Unnoticed by anybody in the arena, the laser effectors just quietly fulfilled their duty. During the live firing events of 2013, Rheinmetall Defense successfully dazzled a live camera on board a GPS-guided octocopter. The international audience then witnessed the mid-air destruction of the attacker from a remote position. Mission accomplished. Your last mission, protect an international port of vital economic importance against aerial attacks. Situation, the opposing forces saturate the airspace with waves of cruise missiles. Your means, a complete GBAD task force with added laser effectors. The Rheinmetall beam superimposing technology allows the beams of multiple lasers to be constantly adjusted, focused, and overlaying each other on a target, to be multiplied indefinitely. This is key for swiftly destroying a multitude of targets with pinpoint precision. During a live demonstration in 2012, Rheinmetall verified their scalable laser energy approach by cutting through a 15 millimeter steel girdle at a distance of 1,000 meters by superimposing the beams of five 10 kilowatt lasers. Attack. Three cruise missiles are heading for the vital asset you're protecting. The fire control unit identifies and tracks the intruders. The laser effectors are pointed to the most threatening attacker and proceed to eliminate one target after the other. Last ditch defense against leakers is provided by 35 millimeter ahead. In October 2013, Rheinmetall proved to an international audience its ability to deter a saturation attack of three jet-powered UAVs approaching at 20-second intervals. All three were successfully destroyed mid-air. All three UAVs were taken out of the air at distances of 1,000 to 1,200 meters. Mission accomplished. Laser effectors will not replace traditional GBAT effectors like guns or missiles. They will rather complement them, especially against LSS targets and in moto situations. Low logistical cost, combined with all its other advantages, will help laser technology to become established as an effector against aerial and other threats. By calling upon the synergies of cross-division expertise, Rheinmetall was able to substantiate the technical feasibility of its high-energy laser prototypes during endless internal trials. A fully operational, high-energy laser effector system can be developed within the next decade. Soon, our high-energy laser effectors could close the short-range gaps in your existing G-Band. Ninety-three and 20,000. The task ID confirmed your weapons are safe. These German Air Force radio towers deployed here in Latvia are both the ears and the voice of a NATO air surveillance mission designed to build up a more comprehensive view of air activity in the Baltics.
uh, with our sensors, we pick up everything what is in the air and uh, identify it and provide it for the NATO that they have an overview about the uh, air situation about NATO airspace. And with our antennas, we are able to control the fighters from any base overhead the uh, Baltic States. 1-1 one, one for Red Hawk, the task is ID confirmed weapon safe. So this is really the heart of the operation, the aircraft control section, where the aircraft controllers can keep track of every jet operating in the Baltic skies. We are presently responsible with our control and reporting center to uh, clear the sky and identify all the tracks we are able to uh, detect and identify within the airspace of the eastern part. Also we guide uh, fighter aircraft through the sky to make exercises to intercept some aircraft which can be unknown or unidentified aircraft. The German system is integrated into BoltNet, the Baltic Air Surveillance Network, part of NATO's air surveillance and control system. Since 2004, Allied nations have taken turns in providing interceptor aircraft to the Baltic Air Policing Mission, ensuring safety and security of the airspace above Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. These measures are part of the assurance measures which are agreed at the summit in 2014 in Wales from the NATO. It has been done to strengthen the presence of the NATO at the eastern border. The deployable control and reporting centre was established in Latvia on the 1st of July this year and will last for three months, during which training of Latvian forces will also take place. For NATO Channel in Leovardi, Latvia, this is Lawrence Cameron. Mm-hmm.